don't judge. Hello everyone, I'm Dimitri with Hardware Connects. That's Eber right there, and this is Apple Magic Mouse 2, a product that seems to complement your Apple computer with its sleek design, the glass, and the aluminum body. Definitely an exciting product to unbox and look at, and the price is actually not too shabby, but uh, I want to know what the experience is like using a non-Apple mouse on my MacBook. So at $99, this might be the perfect alternative to the Apple Magic Mouse, which costs $79, so there's a $20 difference here. But the G4 III is also wireless, it has a much better sensor, much better ergonomics, so let's see if buying a gaming mouse for your Mac is worth it right after this. Cooler Master Master Keys keyboard lineup is now available in three sizes to fit within your space with large, medium and small boards with either beautiful RGB or pure white LED illumination. A little something for everyone. Make it yours with the Master Keys Pro by Cooler Master. Eber, come over here, come over. Feel the two mice, let me know which one you like better. Thoughts for your thoughts. I don't like it. Give it. Like this is what I call a mouse. Thanks, Eber, for your input. But in all seriousness, I was very skeptical about the shape uh, when I first picked this up and still am. It's not exactly comfortable, especially when compared to something like the G4 III. However, I mean, look at this thing. It's so beautiful. The aluminum, the glass, the top, everything just uh, screams a quality product from Apple that would complement your uh, other Apple products. And that's a good thing. Cohesion of build quality and design uh, language is very important for the Apple fan. So let's begin with connectivity. Apple Magic Mouse 2 is fully wireless, there are no USB dongles required, and recognition is almost instantaneous with this visual pop-up on the screen. You know, it just works. And for battery life, it will last you for like a full month on a single charge. And say what you will about the charging port at the bottom, you know, it does look ridiculous, but the recharge is fast enough to never have to worry about battery life. The G4 III, on the other hand, does require a USB dongle, so that will occupy a USB port on your computer if you have it, but at least it is low profile. And Logitech has actually pretty good macOS drivers that work well. You just have to assign to use generic functions to those side buttons for macOS to recognize them. Charging requires a micro USB cable and it doesn't last anywhere as long as the Magic Mouse. Recharging takes longer and you will need to do it more frequently. And ergonomically, these two could not be any more different. You know, a flat piece that uh, like really doesn't have any shape uh, for your hand. It's nice smooth edges on the glass. So there's a bit of a transition here. Actually reminds me a little bit of like the Razer Diamond Pack and which I don't really like the shape, but uh, the G4 III, super comfortable, very nice curves and just really ergonomic to support your right hand. But uh, also, you know, the Magic Mouse is symmetrical, so it is good for left and right hand use. But the low profile nature of this uh, Magic Mouse means it's really strange to hold. It's one of the most unnatural mice that I've used. And, uh, you know, it only feels okay now after a few weeks of adjustment period. And the G4 III in contrast is one of the best mice for your right hand, like I said ergonomic curves, good height, and switching between the two, you can easily ditch the Magic Mouse because the form is beautiful, but unfortunately it is awkward to hold. The left and right clicks are fine on both. I prefer the, you know, the separate buttons on the G4 III, but the Magic Mouse has slightly harder presses with natural spacing between the uniform surface. So it's quite unique because uh, you know you don't have physical buttons here, but they interact very well. And uh, I'm just, yeah, I'm happy what they've done here to preserve this uniform smooth surface without sacrificing on the usability of the buttons. You can't mess them up. Both of these mice have easily identifiable uh, on-off switches at the bottom with long glide feet on the Magic Mouse that are comfortable and are pretty good on plenty of surfaces. And since the sensor here is laser, it is good for reflective surfaces as well, unlike the optical sensor on the G4 III that is fantastic in accuracy and is actually one of the best uh, sensors on the market right now, but it requires an actual mat. So for example, on this white surface, it will not track but you need a hard surface mat, so that's something to take into account because the Magic Mouse tracks on this surface perfectly fine, but not the G4 III. But what surprised me the most with the G4 III is just how much more responsive the sensor felt on the screen. Um, I'm not sure exactly if it's like the Hertz refresh rate or because it's optical, so there's no acceleration, but it felt really true one-to-one -one, uh, tracking on the screen versus the Magic Mouse because there is acceleration. Yes, I did game on the Magic Mouse 2 on my MacBook Pro, 
and I played CS CSGO. I felt like, you know, betraying the CSGO community and the PC Master Race, but uh, it's almost like mixing orange juice with milk. It's uh, very unnatural, but when we bring in the G4 III into the equation, it's still a little bit awkward, right, because of this machine, but uh, my aim felt a lot more responsive. I could aim better, and it was almost like mixing orange juice with cranberry juice. It's not exactly perfect, but it is much better than the milky stuff over here. However, one of the main advantages when it comes to the Apple mouse are gesture controls on the glass surface because it's super smooth and it's very responsive. It allows you to, you know, smooth scroll the pages or you can swipe left to right. That is particularly useful for scrolling my timeline for video editing and also the lack of a scroll wheel. I did not actually find that an issue. You know, I'm very used to using the scroll wheel on any gaming mice or PC mouse uh, to scroll inside the Premiere uh, timeline. But on here, it's very responsive still. The touch gestures work very well. And so after using it for a couple of weeks, you know, I've been kind of running with this type of setup and trying to explore where I love the Magic Mouse, where I love the G4 III. And, you know, a mouse on your MacBook Pro is just a complimentary tool because 80% of the time I'm using the trackpad, which is fantastic. So when it only comes out to editing, I would pull this out. And, you know, if I need to drag and drop things, it's much better to use uh, a mouse because you have a little bit more area. And the G4 III actually follows in the same footsteps, but with a much more responsive sensor and better ergonomics. So definitely the G4 III for a stationary machine if you're utilizing an Apple computer. But I would have to pick the Apple Magic Mouse 2 for travel purposes because it's super thin. So it really complements the whole portability aspect uh, and just the touch controls work really well. And so there is a little bit of a compromise. Although I still think the shape on the Magic Mouse is ridiculous for constant use. You really have to learn how to use it and not use it constantly constantly because the ergonomics and like where do you put these two fingers you know there's no way to put the fingers on so the logic mouse is a solid option especially because the driver support for mac os is excellent and so that's it for my experience using these two mice on my macbook i'm using the g4 3 as my stationary because i love the shape and like you can really go fast with edits and stuff but i do travel with this guy because of that convenience factor don't judge oh hey there NCX.com is Canada's leading e-tailer for anything your mind desires. Just keep within those categories, which are plenty, and get tempted by the weekly deals. Visit NCX.com for all them sweet deals. So thanks guys so much for watching. Make sure to let me know what mouse you're using for your Apple device. Make sure to check out these videos and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. It's good for reflective surfaces. Surfaces. <laughs> surfaces.